New York City probably isn't on any list as a climbing destination, but that doesn't mean that there isn't more to the city than skyscrapers and traffic. Most of the climb of rock is located in Manhattan, and the Gunk Sap or the New York City Bouldering Guide by Gazlia will help you discover it for yourself. Central Park is definitely the best known in the city, with Rat Rock and Worthless Boulder. But north of 110th Street, there's a lot of parks that go overlooked by climbers. Among them, Fort Tryon sets apart. In this video, I'm going to show off some of the best boulders that New York City has to offer, and hopefully you'll check it out for yourself. The nearest trains to Fort Tryon are the A and the 1, the M100 and M4 buses also go there. If you prefer to drive, there's plenty of parking throughout Fort Tryon, which is super rare for the city. If you enter the park on Broadway from the south, the first area you'll encounter are the Sherman boulders. Kind of an unspoken rule in New York City that most things have been climbed out. Here, my buddy Kevin climbs what's likely a new extension to Maestro Wittick proper, a long traverse from the right side of the border. Right next to Gunn's cars is the Ivy Rock boulder. It features a few tall and committing slab lines as well as this new one that the guide had listed as a project. Side of the bulging boulder, Kevin visualized a new traverse that adds a challenging and quality line to a boulder which already has one of the park's most popular. There's a reason why French Connection is one of the most popular lines in the park. It starts in an obvious jug on a steep overhanging face. Two sloping edges get you out to a flat but positive left hand. And from there, you bump your right hand up the arete. The Faith and Friction Boulder is probably the first one in New York City to stop me in my tracks. Standing underneath it, it's tall, imposing, and overhead. This is the iconic Life is Beautiful boulder. It was first climbed in 2003 by Ivan Green in Dosage 2, and since then it's seen seldom, if any, repeats. When trying this boulder, it occurred to me that there's actually a line that avoids the blast hole completely. 
and produces a slightly easier but still exciting V4 variation which uses only natural holds. I'm still excited to return to see a repeat ascent of Ivan's V10 Arrette. I think the point of this video is to show how accessible the climbing is here. The final area I want to share is the traverse wall. For a lot of climbers, this is the first wall that they climb on in Fort Tryon as it offers a lot of warm-ups from V0 all the way up to V5. In addition to the classic short flake, there are two quality lines on this wall that stand out. And those, in my opinion, are the best boulders in Fort Tryon Park in New York City. Thank you to everyone who came out and climbed with me. It was really fun getting so many different climbers out to the park, whether they had been there for years or it was their first time. Well, New York City's no climbing mecca, it's still one of my favorite places to climb, and I hope that you'll get to experience it too.